Hello, today I'm doing a quick demo of my new uh, sandbox that I'm making using React. Uh, so, for example, I've been playing around with some components and I have like, for example, the hotkeys working. If I press one, two, three, four, you'll see up here it's changing. Over here, the highlighted one also changes. So yeah, kind of fun to uh, use React on top of WebAssembly. The simulator is now multi-threaded and SIMD accelerated. So the number of particles now goes up pretty high without, uh, and uh, at least it can go to 100,000 before it uh, slows down. And I have also been working on adding a new viscoelastic material. So one cool thing about the new simulator is that it kind of combines uh, aspects of SPH and NPM. So it uses NPM for uh, integrating the stress tensors and whatnot to do elastic materials, while it uses the SPH stuff to do the, um, the volume preservation. And that gives us some nice surface tension effects. We got some nice bubbles going around and the particles are nice and evenly spaced apart. Now, even though the simulation is slower, since we're multi-threaded now and the simulation is happening on a different thread, the UI thread is still able to go at full speed on my, uh, for example, 240 hertz monitor. So if I open up a side panel or any of these like hover things, the UI is not slowed down or anything. All the transitions will still be smooth. Um, then I can erase the particles. And, and then another cool thing about this time around is I'm going to be localizing it so I can do other languages. And over here, you will see all the tooltips will update to the new language. Even the material names can be changed. Um, and yeah, and it will have eventually some like login and logout functionality as well. So yeah, that's why it's like kind of taking a long time. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've been switching over to React and kind of just trying to really up my uh, stuff. Um, yeah, this is React Scan. I like to use it. Um, it can like show you which items are rendering and how long they take, and it has a notification if something slows down the UI. So yeah.